I was told to bring in these spanks. We all, a lot of us wear them occasionally for something. And um, I kept told them, to bring them in to work? To work, well, there's a certain kind that I liked. Okay. And they kept saying, just tell me this, I need the style number, will you bring them in? Okay. And then like two weeks go by and I keep forgetting and I feel like a dingbat. So I'm in my room getting ready for work and I see them. And I was like, just put them on. Clearly you can't take them and put them in your purse. So your punishment is just, just put them on and wear them into work. So I get ready and I always leave for work kind of like a Sherpa. I have like a bag of this, a bag of things I think I'm gonna get done, which don't. I just carry it back and forth from work, <laughs> from work to home. So I have like three bags, three bags. I have a messenger bag across me and I'm coming downstairs and the guys are up front building the fence and it's kind of sprinkling out, so I was shocked to see them, it was so nice. And I'm coming down the stairs and I was like, which bag is pulling somewhere? Like it's pulling a sweater and I'm like, I, I, I can't even look to see what's pulling me because I've got too many bags. And so I come down the stairs and I see the guys, I'm like, hey, good morning guys. And they're just like. <laughs> and I think they're acting weird. And I was like, God, do they think I've made them be here on a rainy day? I'm thinking it's about the rain. And then I'm standing there and I have all these bags. I'm kind of shifting back and forth and I'm chatting and I'm like, the fence is looking great. It's really, and they're only looking like top of hair and up. <laughs> and it's really odd because they're only doing this. And now I'm looking at my roof because I think like, what's up there? Like, is there something, is there like a cat on the roof? And so I'm lingering. I'm now turning around fully. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I think, I, I'm standing there and I go to rearrange a bag and I look down. My sweater is now up around here. <laughs> Nothing but flesh colored Spanx. <laughs> Where are your pants? I see, oh, I'm, I'll get there. <laughs> flesh colored Spanx, I see bare kneecaps. <laughs> and then my pants are somewhere like low calf. <laughs> and I'm not kidding, it was <laughs> horrifying. And these poor guys were like, <laughs> and, I'm, and I've, seen, I've been like shifting back and forth. I'm like, you know what I mean? And I'm turning around like, as if this wasn't enough, I was like, you better check this out. Like I literally was like, I was 360ing myself, but I couldn't feel it because I thought I had, you know, you felt, I felt the spank. So I didn't know the feeling when I thought, oh, something's pulling on my sweater. As I came down the stairs now, I realized my pants just dropped off and they saw it coming. So as I was coming at them, they were like, oh God. How, and so, did, how did you, it was like you were it was a stretchy or little. How did you not feel that against apparently, your ankle? Apparently I'm dead from the knee down. I don't know. I didn't feel, I didn't feel anything. And then, it's, and then it, when I finally saw, I saw like, you know, I barely wear like a short sleeve and here I am like pantsless in my front yard in front of these Nude poor guys. Nude colors, Spanx. Nude, which is. It's an awfully attractive look. And I couldn't do anything. I just reached down. I was like, just loving the fence. <laughs> loving, loving the fence. And I just got in my car and like turned beet red. I was like, 